He's visited every country in the world. Humble brag. That includes the <laughs> North and South Poles. Travel expert Lee Abavanti, he has uh, left a career on Wall Street to circle the globe and connect with very interesting people in extraordinary places, including our national parks. We welcome to the show our world traveler, Mr. Lee Abavanti. Wow, this is really cool. Welcome in. Thanks, uh, It's great to have you. Good to see you. Welcome back from Chicago. Thank you. Yeah, there's no uh, national parks in Chicago, although Wrigley, Wrigley Field should be a national park. I agree. It's yeah. much better than Fenway Park. So why right. national parks this summer? You're like, let's let's do national parks because you've traveled everywhere else. Yeah, you know, I've been to every country, every <laughs> state, both poles, every continent. And I was like, uh, and you know, I love America. I love traveling around. And uh, I just kind of made the decision a couple years ago that I was going to go to every national park because really it's the best thing in America. Is this some clip art behind us or is this an actual place? That is the tallest mountain in North America. It's Mount Denali in oh, wow. Denali wow. National Park. Yeah. And I was just up in Alaska and I kind of based myself in a town called Fairbanks, which is kind of like base camp Alaska. Yeah, yeah. And from okay. there you can uh, get around easily to a lot of the national parks and you're really central. And I got up to Denali, down to Wrangell St. Elias. And then I went to the two most remote national parks in America, uh -huh. Kobuk Valley and Gates of the Arctic. I mean, two of the most beautiful places you've ever seen in your life. Wow. Really? You, didn't, you didn't scale Denali, did you? No, but I planned to. Oh really? my goodness. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's high. I yeah. just like the picture. It's beautiful. <laughs> high and cold. It's Absolutely. really warm too. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Exactly. <laughs> So where have you been in the last six months? Oh man, um, <laughs> you know, like, so I just in places. Toronto catching a Red Sox game. I, I, I was I was in Toronto <laughs> catching a Blue Jays game, and they happened to be playing the Red, by the Red Sox. Yeah, oh. uh, the Red Sox. I, I was at the game Mookie Betts hit for the cycle actually. Ah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Quite a special. <laughs> Go Yankees. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Man, I've been, uh, I was in Lebanon. I've been traveling around the U.S. quite a bit. Um, uh, I was in Europe, wow. Asia, I mean, kind of all over. And here I am again in beautiful Las Vegas. And we, we have some more pictures to take a look at as well. And while we look at these, how many points do you have? Oh, man, <laughs> I have, um, if you add them all together, I have about three and a half million. Right oh, now. nice. Yeah. Wow. We just saw Crater Lake in Oregon. This is Arches National Park, which is just a sight to be seen. Yeah, Arches is awesome, man. All the parks in Utah are awesome. And a couple of them are only about two hours drive from right yeah, here no, in Las Zion, Vegas. Zion, Zion and Bryce Canyon. Yeah. And if you drive a little further, like Canyonland. Oh, there's my dog, Hector. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I was like, and we're visiting dog places. Okay, Hector. You know, it's funny because Acadia was actually the first time uh, I took Hector, my little French bulldog right there, on a plane. And Acadia was so dog friendly. It was awesome. So I got to take him on hikes in the little town of Bar Harbor right there. It was just fantastic. It's like pure Americana. It That's was fantastic. really awesome. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. I'm yeah. so jealous. I, well, yeah. <laughs> to be able to travel the world like that is really awesome. And that's just your gig. So how can people keep up with you like as you're on your travels? Well, I, I try to blog about it as much as I can on my website, okay. leahbamonte.com. And okay. then, of course, social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at leahbamonte. Check it out. So then when they can look at your life and go, I'm just not doing enough. <laughs> I'm just not They can just live able to while they're in their right. desk job. I just try to inspire people and tell, you know, try to tell it my way because I kind of try to have fun with everything and, you know, make jokes. But, I mean, at the same time, get the point across that everything is awesome, but it needs to be experienced. Things don't just happen. You have to make it happen and put yourself in situations where good things happen. No Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Well, and you've been traveling for years now, and the fact that things still surprise you about our national parks is pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, you mentioned Crater Lake before. Um, um, I would say that's one of the most beautiful things I ever saw in my life. Wow. And wow. I, w I would even say maybe more beautiful than the Grand Canyon. I mean, of course, it's a little bit weather dependent. I happen to be there right there on oh, an absolutely perfect sunny day. So the you got mirror. that amazing reflection, right? Mirror oh, Lake. Beautiful. I mean, just incredible. And you have to drive for, for about an hour and a half from uh, Medford, which is like the nearest airport. Yeah. And it's just gorgeous. And when you get up there, you're just like, whoa, you know, like one of those deals. Typically, and, uh, the best things are the furthest away from the airport. Yeah. The closer you are from the yeah. airport, chances are we've screwed it up as a society. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. It's nice and clean, far away from the riffraff. That is that is fact. Yeah. And awesome. do you have to rough it? Like there are glamping places here. This is just a, a personal question. Yeah. Because I'd love to experience some of those things and then go back to a hotel or cabin. Yeah. with heat and yeah. stuff. You know, I get asked no. about like camping and glamping right. and all this stuff quite a bit. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not a glamper or a camper okay. anymore. Okay, well, you don't have to. At one point I was, uh -huh. but after spending two and a half weeks camping on yes. the ice in Antarctica, uh -huh. my first attempt to get to the South Pole, right. I'm like, I'm, I'm done with this camping thing. Uh. <laughs> See, there we go. Thank you. I just wanted to bring it Because what they don't tell you about camping in Antarctica is when you have to go to the bathroom and you have to get out of the tent at like five in the morning, that's a nightmare. Trust me. Oh, Ic my goodness. Icicles <laughs> as far as the eye can see. <laughs> 
Uh, Lee, it's great having you, buddy. You too, Sean. Good seeing you. So and nice awesome. meeting you as well. Nice to meet you. Thank 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 you.